homelessness, equality, they're issues that impact us all. With less than a week from the primary election, the candidates for mayor are hanging their hats on different issues. WRAL Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bays spoke with the current mayor and his three challengers as the race comes to a head. Well, the race for mayor in Fayetteville isn't too crowded. We've got four candidates, though, who say they can do the job. So here they are, incumbent Mitch Colvin and challengers Freddie De La Cruz, Charles Evans, and Quentin Dean Henson Gribble. Colvin is seeking his fourth term as the city's top political leader. He says his experience sets him apart from the other candidates. Yeah, I mean, just continuing the mission. You know, we've had very good success in creating jobs, uh, continuing to, to rebrand and attract people in, uh, into our community. And I think that I'm the most qualified candidate that's in the race right now with the proven results to go with it. This will be Freddie De La Cruz's second run for Fayetteville mayor. He's a self-proclaimed military brat who sees fighting crime in the city a top priority. Well, of course, you know, our crime is high. You know, my experience in the military as a military police officer, retired Army lieutenant colonel, instructor, I feel I can help the chief of police with the crime problem that we have in Fayetteville and also with our youth gun violence. Charles Evans is no stranger to politics. He served as a Fayetteville City Councilman and a Cumberland County Commissioner. Last year, he lost his bid to become the Democratic nominee for the seventh House seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. He says politics is about serving people. And that's what propelled me to run, is because there are some instances in our city that certain individuals are not receiving fair treatment, and it should be fair across the board. And so I will work to make that better. This this is Quanson Dane Henson Gribble's second run for office. She admits she may be the least known of the candidates, but for years she has been working behind the scenes to help resolve issues for citizens. One of her main focuses right now is the city's homeless and less fortunate populations. Matter of fact, I'm working on the uh, farmer's market on the Merck. That's going to be opening up the second Saturday in October, October 14th from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the evening, and that's going to take care of our food desert here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. So the two top vote getters in the primary on October 10th will move on to the general election and run for mayor on November 7th. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, WREL News.